I hope that you are enjoying um, learning that each of us is a minister of God. And today I just want to add to that thought uh, and make us think about the motivation behind our ministry or the motivation behind our service for the kingdom of God. Now, while uh, it's important what we do, now some of us uh, might be doing big things for the kingdom of God and some others might be uh, doing what we consider as small things for the kingdom of God. Now, what God looks at is really the heart behind the service. Now, if you recall uh, uh, a time when uh, you know Jesus narrated about a, a woman who offered um, her gifts to God, you know, she put in her offering and there was a very wealthy man as well who came and offered what he had. But you know, uh, the Lord Jesus uh, revealed that the heart of that woman was, was one to be uh, commended because she came with a sincere heart to give her all. But uh, the rich person, you know, he just came in to give something to God. So you know, God really looks at the heart behind the service and not just the service that we bring to him. So as we serve God, you know, for us to serve well, uh, we need to ask ourselves the question, why? Why am I serving? And here are some good answers from God's word for us. If you're serving as worship unto the Lord, then that's the right reason for us to serve. So uh, I believe, you know, many of us, we serve in church and Sunday morning when we arrive in church, you know, we could just check our hearts and ask, why am I doing this? You know, is it, is it to please someone else or is it my worship to God this morning? And if the answer is worship to God, then that's a very good reason uh, to serve God. Another reason the, the Word of God uh, teaches us is to share Christ, to share Jesus and to extend His kingdom. And that's the great commission that has been given to us. So any ministry that we're engaged in, any service that we're doing, we can ask the question, you know, am I doing this to um, share the love of Jesus? Am I doing this to win souls for the kingdom of God? And if the answer is yes, then great, you know, we, we are serving well. Uh, and if our motivation is also to lead people into maturity, especially when we are teaching, what is our reason to teach? You know, are we trying to impress people with our knowledge? Um, are we trying to um, uh, you know, just share information which we have? But instead, if we want to impart you know, God's knowledge to mature people, to bring up people higher in their walk with the Lord, that would be a good reason for us to serve. It's the right motivation. Similarly, to glorify God, you know, that's a right motivation to reveal the nature of Christ. Even whatever we are doing, may, may God be seen in what I'm doing. If that's the motive that I carry. That is also good service or ministry to God. So I just want to encourage each one of us to always think about the why and reset it. You now, if, if, it, if it has gone off in some way, uh, for whatever reason, just reset the why. And as long as our why is uh, pleasing unto the Lord. You know, we're in the right place uh, and it really doesn't matter you know, how big an assignment God has given us. When we do it with the right heart, you know, that's, an, that's an assignment which is pleasing to God and approved by God. So uh, let's serve Him well. Let's serve Him with the right motives. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, that each of us is called, Lord, in some way or the other to serve your kingdom. We pray that, um, like that woman who gave her all, uh, that, Lord, we would do our best for your kingdom, O oh God, and, and God, that we would serve you with the right heart. Um, and, and Father God, we, we pray, Lord, that, that you will continue to um, teach us the truth of your word so that we may be established in this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.